Thursday, May 9th, the U.S. issued its first geomagnetic storm watch in nearly 20 years. While the storm will have no impact on physical health, communications could be disrupted. I spoke with East Kentucky Science Center and Varia Planetarium Director Krista Gant to learn more. So the sun is constantly active doing nuclear fusion and everything. And every 11 years or so, it goes through this really radical change. And essentially the poles flip, the poles reverse. Um, and we call that a solar maximum when that happens. So we're actually heading towards a solar maximum uh, right now. Um, whenever that happens, the sun is especially active. There's lots of sunspots. Um, and then what just happened was a solar flare was released. It was the largest solar flare from one of these sunspots that are currently active on the sun right now. Um, really what a solar flare is, is it's light different kinds of light, usually not light particles that we can see. It's a different wavelength. Um, those don't really impact us. What the uh, Those type of uh, solar flares really impact are things like shortwave radios, communication, that kind of thing. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. In addition to solar flares 16 times wider than the Earth, the storm will be releasing coronal mass ejections, which could impact power grids and GPS and potentially bring the northern lights to Kentucky. So usually what happens after a solar flare, it's called a, a CME, which is basically a ejection of particles this time. So these are kind of like physical things that can reach the earth. These take longer. They take one to two days to get to us. Um, these are things that can start to impact like our power grids and and, and things like that. So um, um, these are rated as a category four. Five is the most intense. So we're not at the most intense kind yet, but the positives of these, we as humans aren't impacted. We have Earth has a magnetic field, keeps us safe. These particles won't have anything to do with our health or anything like that. Um, and the best part is when these CMEs hit the Earth, they interact with our atmosphere and they give us aurora. So the Northern Lights. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.